So last week, I got curious about how soap spray bottles actually work and why they are designed like these. I hopped onto ChatGPT where I got a nice summary of how and why the design works. If only I could show you what I learned rather than telling you. Oh wait, I actually can. We're going to break down each component to understand its function, design decision and even the physics behind how it works. Let's start with the nozzle. This is the part that transforms liquid into a fine mist or spray. When liquid is forced through a small opening at high pressure, it atomizes into fine droplets. Next, we have the pump mechanism which generates the force needed to push liquid from the reservoir to the nozzle. It works like this. When you press the trigger, it compresses a small spring-loaded piston inside the pump housing. This action creates a pressure forcing the liquid up the deep tube and out through the nozzle. When you release the trigger, the spring pushes the piston back creating a vacuum that pulls more liquid into the chamber for the next spray. Next, we have the trigger. The trigger is where users interact with the bottle, so its design is all about comfort and usability. A well-designed trigger reduces strain on the fingers and wrist, even after repeated use. Moving inside the bottle, we find the deep tube, which ensures that liquid is drawn up even when the bottle isn't completely full. The tube is slightly angled at the bottom to reach the corners of the bottle. Some deep tubes also feature a filter at the end to prevent clogs from debris. Finally, we have the bottle itself, which serves as both a reservoir for the liquid and a structural base for the entire assembly. It is designed for easy handling, whether you are holding it upright or tilting it. Some bottles even feature indented grips for added comfort. So the next time you pick up a spray bottle, take a moment to appreciate the ingenuity behind its design. It's proof that even the simplest tools have incredible engineering stories to tell.